in Design Flaw News, submitted by Meatloaf, Eating Meatloaf, mm -mm. McDonald's Japan accidentally created very sexually suggestive beverage cups. Oh, accidentally? Everybody yeah, fucking this. sent me these, I man. This. So it's yeah, pretty, Mc pretty good. McDonald's Japan had a sweet idea to promote its new summertime McFizz drinks. Create clear cups with a boy on one side and a girl on the other that once emptied show a boy and a girl innocently kissing each other. That's cute. Yeah, it's not bad, it's not offensive. Uh -huh. It's mm. very nice, how mm -hmm. could you fuck that up? But when customers began tilting cups at different angles. And drinking them and finishing them. The mm -hmm. romance turned hot and heavy. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's a full cup? How innocent. It's an so empty cute. clear okay, cup. It's an empty, clear. empty cup, but it's at an angle. Yeah. So cute. Mm -hmm. oh, very cute. She's jacking him off while she's kissing him. No, she's not. That's very innocent. Okay. I mean, she, he's kid. Oh, there we go. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. Bing, 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 bing. How is the cup doing this? Angles. They, 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 they just turn it, turn it, rotate it. You're looking upwards at the cup right now. Like this one. It's a naughty cup. No, oh. they, no. Okay, okay. Ah. This is bullshit. <laughs> this is a real cup, bro. No. That, that, they're clearly drawing on this cup. You have no imagination? <laughs> <laughs> They're clearly drawing on the cup. You have no. Yeah, go to the next one, because this is crazy. Think back to when you were child. Yeah, just, wait, the, so wait, just this the same it's cup as on. all the other cups. Yeah. No, oh, no, 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 no. There's different ones. Oh, right. Oh, there's different oh, artwork. Yeah. The same designs, but different um, artwork. Okay, so only certain cups different look like yeah. he's. Yeah, different yeah. positions. It, so, like, does this one, does right. that one do anything funny? Like, no, this one. Yeah, he's, like, sitting on some nice imaginary one. bench or something. Oh, I thought that was jacking him off. No, she's not jacking him off. No, but why is he grabbing his junk? Yeah, that, that she's jacking him off. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. This one, she's kissing and jacking him off like yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. And he's a little boy too. He, he's oh. tiny. So she's, she's extra a giant big chick, yeah. and he's a little boy. That reminds me of me and Jill all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one's my favorite. Of course, this one's my favorite. So I mean, this one is just how you was this. Really, people uh, are not drawing these. No. No. The manufacturers have made it like this. They're, they're taking oh, the different oh. designs and they're tilting them around. Yeah. This one, I like this one because he had to jump. He looked like he jumped up because his arms are like straight up. Yeah. He like. Jumped up into the air and then shoved. That was like a dolphin just sticking his dick in his inner mouth. <laughs> I don't understand what is going on. The stripes. Sweaters, this is when uh, when a girl puts her dick in your mouth. It's called sucking on your dick. No, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Like this right? If you look at it from this angle, if you look at it from this angle, yeah, if you look at it from this angle or that angle, yeah. it changes the view. Yeah, you're stacking the image. Yeah, you're stacking weird the angle. Angle. Okay, the Listen, the first image that we saw was a girl holding a hat and a guy like. Oh no no no! Because they're it's different, different artwork. Yeah. They're all yeah. different cups. There's like three or four yeah. different. Go artwork. go back to the other one you just did. Con so you now that same one. Pieces of. So that's the original one. She's not holding a hat in this. And then but that's but when you tilt one. it, then the head starts going. Going down lower to the torso, uh, and then this one, she's just holding a hat. It's a different design. It's a different design. design yeah. So you don't see the hat here. But that's the kissing one. That's, that's the kissing, kissing one. one. Wait, go back. Go back to the other kissing one. Yeah. So that's what it should normally look like. Right. But oh, then wow. this one. See. Wow. Really works. No yep. hat here. See, no hat here. You know. You know what's always amazing to me is that there's a whole team of people that are there working on this stuff and testing it. And they're and like, they're like oh, yeah, this looks good. Think? And there wasn't a single human that was just like nobody. Nope. Hmm. Or uh, I, they were like, we did it. Send it out. True. <laughs> hey, this created a viral thing. We're all talking about McDonald's right now. I will Great tell you this. I want to know which one that one is because they're not kissing together. It's just one kissing. What the fuck is happening there? Someone drew on that one. Yeah, yeah what is the guy doing? He what just is, has his hand out. He's humping a log. No, you know what? Can, can we see what the neutral positions of all these cups are? So we know what they were supposed to look like? And, and what happens if, like, let's say you get I think it's this one. three cups. Now you have like three dudes and one girl. Yeah. Are they all like banging this girl down? Right yeah. the They're room. all actually banging each other perfectly at perfect angle angles. Yeah. I will say this, McDonald's in Japan is phenomenal. It is. It really is. Is it really? Yeah. It, Why? It's just, I don't know. Like, I don't Do you know, know what your favorite thing is there? Chicken nuggets. Does it taste different? It tastes like it tastes the chicken different. nuggets here. It tastes, it tastes good. Oh. It, tastes, I've been, it tastes like the chicken nuggets in America. <laughs> no, no, it tastes better. I've been to McDonald's in no, Denmark, I, and no. it was actually better than here. What'd you yeah. get? What'd you get? Because they got different. It's because it's fresh. I got the Big Mac. Oh. So I got, I got, I got eggs are good. It's the, same, yeah. it's the same formula for a lot of shit, like, but then out there they make it fresh. Yeah. And then that's the difference because like so I went to the McDonald's headquarters and then I got it made fresh. I was like, this is how it's supposed to taste like. Damn, because yeah. then it's a hit or miss, like in the States, if it's fresh, then it's fucking good. If it's been sitting there for a minute, then it's different. But see, that's what's so funny about McDonald's corporate headquarters, is they're like, 
Um, why do people say our food sucks? This is fucking awesome. Yeah, because it's not. This, this is the greatest thing ever. It's like, guys, yeah. will you hire some of your employees from the fucking branch next to me? And, and have them try out to make you some food, it's a lot different. I, I don't know, man, because I've, I've been to McDonald's during rush hour and they're like fucking trying to pump out orders and stuff, right? So I've gotten my food pretty fresh from McDonald's, mm. man, and it, it ain't, it ain't worth guys, more than the fucking five bucks I paid. The ultimate hack for the french fries, if you order McDonald's and you say, I do not want salt on my this. french fries, they have to do a separate batch for you. And it's fresh. And it's fresh. Yeah. Because and you put salt on it. And then you just put on your salt later. But I'm pretty sure they're sprinkling crap I've on there. Always gone McDonald's and always been happy after. Really? Never been disappointed. Bard really? has very like he just I don't know has standards. He'll just eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming you eat fast food very very you know on occasion. Rare. <gasps> Some might say like, Bard's Chinese and so therefore. So like in, 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 in one month. Say that. True. In one month. Say that. How how often do you have fast food? McDonald's maybe like. Uh, McDonald's maybe once a month, maybe? You still eat McDonald's? McDonald's once or twice a month? Like, yeah. I just had McDonald's yesterday. Really? Yeah. I don't touch that shit. Really? At all? No. McDonald's, McDonald's is bomb. You should. Like, if, if I'm, like, super starving, but then That's probably why he has a six-pack and we don't. Maybe. True. Yeah. You're probably the only one that has, like, a like a fucking chisel that has six-pack. What do you pack. eat? Lettuce every day? I eat name? terribly. Are you, are we, so you eat clean or you eat... Whatever. I, Don't be that guy I, who has a six pack and says I eat terribly. I, I will I, fight you right I now. I promise, <laughs> I promise. I, listen, it's not that I eat terribly, it's like, if I'm not, if I don't have meal preps, Sometimes I just don't eat. I see. You're oh, so you fast you're unintentionally. So I guess just, so. You're just under calories. So which works? I get meal preps calories. most of the time, but on the weekends I eat pretty much whatever I want. Yeah. Calorie what's deficit. your thing? What do you, what, what's your splurge? Your fast food or whatever? Uh, Pizza. Nah. Well, I, that's like occasionally, but like I try to cut out cheese, dairy, fucking bread. Like I try just not to eat those things, but. I don't know, I can't really. really Taco Bell? Him. Nah, fuck boy. no. Come on, when you're being a real bad boy. <laughs> like, I'm splurging. <laughs> fucking sp <laughs> spaghetti? I don't know. Spaghetti? Yeah. Yeah. Spaghetti, that's it? That's I don't know, your, man. Like, your... I have a high. I don't, I don't have, like. What's your favorite? Like, what's your comfort food? I don't, I'm not I don't feeling have one. A... You don't have one? You don't like food? Nah, like, I eat chipotle. I just, I eat. Oh, maybe you're not a, like, a foodie person. You just eat just for sustenance. You're not a foodie person. See, I sometimes I work so much, I forget to eat. I live to eat. Yeah, me too, the same here. Me too. I love to eat. Like, I can rattle off. Every fact. single fast yeah. food order None of us do. from every nope. single place. Yeah. If you tell me the restaurant that you're gonna pick up food at right now, yeah, I could you. jump in on that order and I could tell you the number and exactly what to get because yeah. I have a go-to for every. Oh yeah. I'm the same way. Yeah. I'm the same way. I wish fast I was like that. Good. What's your favorite fast food? Del Taco. Chipotle. Del Taco. Del Taco. Del Taco. I've had Del Taco I think twice in my life. Oh yeah. What is, what's your order? At they're, they're regional. Like some yeah. places have a they're lot. Not on the East yeah, Coast. Yeah. Del Taco's not on the East Coast. I think Taco Bell's yeah, actually my favorite. Yeah. You still eat Taco Bell? Pretty fucking bomb, man. Taco Bell. I used to like Taco Bell. Taco Bell is really big for. Indians because they're the only fast food place that can you can just get everything vegetarian. For bean really? burritos, yeah, bean tacos, so beans, and, and like for any protein, so you can get anything. So are Indians famously vegetarian. A lot of them are. Oh wow. Yeah. I have not touched Taco Bell. I'm years. learning. Yeah. I, like I've only learned through you guys that ja uh, that Chinese people are seen as trash people by a lot. Of <laughs> Very trash. Yes. <laughs> We're teaching you know that Asian the racism. Asian I didn't know. Racism. Chinese ones. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Wait, no Chinese no people idea. are trash? Well, that's what they say. Main, 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 oh no no no! The racist things you want to know. Mainland Chinese. Yeah, they're the ones that like Chinese. kids are like. India doesn't like Pakistan. Yeah. Pakistan don't like Indians. I've heard that. Hindus versus Muslims. I've heard that. All of the neighboring Asians despise each other. Right. But then they have no fucking opinion about the three neighbors away. You know what term Dude. I heard, like, not recently, but in the past year was jungle Asians? <laughs> Which I've I never heard, heard before in my life. I think it's like Bobby. Southeast Bobby. Asia, all the Southeast Bobby Asians Bobby. are jungle Asians. And I was like, what is a jungle Asian? And they're like, you know. <laughs> the Asian Do you take that as a derogatory term? I mean, I'm Asian, but like, I don't know. That's I, don't see, I don't see you as a jungle Asian. I think Filipino and Vietnamese yeah, yeah, yeah. and Thai. You know, they were like, oh, you know, like that jungle Asian. I'm like, what's a jungle Asian? Jungle Asian. I'm like, yeah. India has a lot of jungles. jungles. Yeah. Is that, is that what you mean? And they're like, no, not you. Cause they, you know, they use the other words. So like there, there's like Asian racism amongst the Asians. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, big time. That's big that's time. It exists. Yo. I didn't even know about the fucking driving thing. I thought it was like a meme until I, Nikki is like, oh my god, another Asian driver, and I'm like, no, nah, dude, racism is not even racism in Asia. It's science. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, India. Oh, they're Indian. No wonder. Okay, it's a tiger versus a dragon. Who's gonna get the hundred in math class? <laughs> the Indian kid gets the ninety nine. There's yeah. always a Chinese kid who got the hundred. When I'm with yeah. Nikki, and if the Chinese kid got the ninety nine. It's always an Indian. It's always an Indian and Chinese kid at the fucking spelling bee too. Just, exactly. yeah, so just fighting with each other. This year there was an eight-way tie at the spelling bee or nine-way tie. Wow. Eight of them were Indian, and then there was one white chick. 
When I'm, with Ooh. <laughs> when I'm with my Filipino in-laws, all they talk about is shit about other Asians and other <laughs> races and shit. Mexicans, Asians, everything. They you just, just weigh in or are you just sitting there eating popcorn? <laughs> wow, this is great. I, I, dude, that's what I do. They're yeah. doing their job for you. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> this is why, you know? This is why. I just want you know, I didn't say anything. I was just, I'm just yeah. repeating what I heard. <laughs> hey, dude, when you sit here and you do 600 articles with these fuckers, <laughs> and you're reading like, somebody took a shit in the street, and, and these, these cats are all like Chinese people, and you're just like, what? And then the article says it though. Right, and then the article says Chinese people. I'm like, man, I'm learning about things. I didn't know. That's crazy. You didn't know that mainland Chinese people take a shit on the street? <sighs> I didn't know that. Like, a lot of Indian people urinate in the street. Normally, I heard of that in America. No, 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 no. Oh, in, in India, in India, the Chinese people though come over here. Oh, the shit on the street, and they start yeah. pissing, spitting, snotting. The spitting, the spitting yeah. thing, I know, is the, the bar, and then they fucking shoot the boogers out of their nose. Bar. What's up with that? <laughs> I saw that in Hong Kong. I was mind blown because I've wait, out wait, here. I know they do it in the one. sink. Where's everyone from? The sink, right? Huh? Where's everyone's fan? I'm where? from Caucasus. I know, I know where you're from. I'm, Ch I'm Japanese. You're Japanese. Cantonese, Chinese. Chinese. You're Chinese. Chinese. You're Chinese. Chinese. You're Japanese. Chinese. He's Japanese. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, Japanese yeah, too. Yeah. He's yeah. Japanese. You're technically yeah. Japanese. Yeah. You're more Japanese yeah. than yeah. fucking anybody. Yeah, yeah, you're more Japanese than me. He's yeah. black and he's on Japanese black soil longer. Are there a lot of black guys in Japan? Yeah, I grew up in like a melting pot of uh, a whole bunch of different cultures. So like where I grew up, it was Native American, Japanese, Caucasian and German, well that's same. Well, well, cause he grew up on base, so to me that's base. like Little America. So like, yeah. Yeah. but everyone came from every place. My friends yeah. were Filipino or Indian. And they go out into town every day yeah. almost, right? Yeah, that's yeah. true. Well, was there a culture shock for you coming to this state? Yeah, the actual, yeah, the actual yeah, real the United States? Right. Yeah. You were born in Japan? Like, what, what no, you? I wasn't born in Japan. I moved there in third grade. But okay. Like, so when you're eight. Yeah, I was oh, so eight young. Eight to 18 almost. Yeah. So oh, wow. Oh, so yeah, it's like his whole adolescence. Exactly. So when you came back, like what, what were some of the things that you were like? Driving on the other side of the road, fucking uh, going to the hospital, like in, in, on a military base and in Japan, you go to the hospital and you get your medicine within the hospital. Having to go to fucking Walgreens and CVS. Going and somewhere else, that's yeah, weird, yeah. that was weird. Dude, you could even get medicine for your friend because he's sick, so you just go and you're like, my friend's sick, so this is the like symptoms, and then they'll give you the, yeah. the the medicine for for them. Yeah. yeah How do you so, weigh in on the drivers thing? Because my wife says that the Asians are bad drivers, and so does so does so do you. I agree. Japanese. I agree. I think they're, so, they're so bad drivers every place. Drivers. That's what I thought. Yeah. So so here's the driving racism thing. Okay. Right? Okay. So Japanese people follow all the rules. Korean people make up the rules, and Chinese people break all the rules. <laughs> That's how you know the difference. <laughs> Say it one more time. So Japanese people, they follow all the rules, but then they follow it to the point where it doesn't make sense. If everyone's with the flow of traffic, it's going, they're like 65, I'm going 65 on the fucking dot, yeah. right? And then Korean people, they'll make up their rules. It'll say 65 and they'll be like, I think it's about 80. <laughs> but Chinese people just break all the rules and they don't care. See, for me, that's the white people, moms, and minivans and SUVs. Mm. They make their own rules. Oh. Right? Grandmas fucking yeah. don't even know the rules. They break all the rules. White see, grandmas I think, don't know the I see, rules. I see, so in India, there are no rules. Like, yeah. you could drive in the opposite side of the street. But I don't think- Indian Chinese people learn how to drive in India. <laughs> yeah, like, you have to, because I wouldn't be able to drive in India. Oh, like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm just a standard, average driver. I don't think I'm bad. Yeah. But it's just terrifying. There's so many people, you just, like, when you get in a taxi cab and they're just driving on the other side of the road, you're like, what the fuck? You can't see shit. Yeah. There's, you know, animals, homeless people. Costa Rica, Bali, it's terrifying to drive. Terrifying. Because everyone's just figuring it out as they go. Like, motorcycles going like this, it's so confusing. Have you guys ever been in a Hong Kong taxi? Every single time you feel like you're gonna vomit. <laughs> <laughs> like a roller coaster. You're like, oh shit! And they all have like these little Toyota Cressettas and shit. They're like 1980s taxis. It's like you're in the fifth element, but you're not flying. No. You're just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Multi-pass, multi-pass. <laughs>